I began my journey at Pima Community College in the spring of 2014. I had my heart set on getting my associate's degree in American Indian Studies. My children and I are all enrolled Pascoyaki members. Before I was finally able to achieve my dream of a degree, I experienced a nightmarish journey because of classes that were listed in the college catalog but were discontinued. I grew up in Fresno in, Cal in California's Central Valley where my family and I were mistaken for Mexicanos. I knew that I belonged to a tribe because my grandparents spoke the language fluently. I wanted to know why they wouldn't teach me that language, that special Yaqui language of Yohanan. Instead, they always spoke to me in Spanish or English. I wanted to know why they wouldn't teach me the language. My mother always said, just don't go back there when you hear us speaking that language. It wasn't until I was a young woman that I understood that my grandfather had faced discrimination and had been beaten for speaking Yohanan. And when he had tried to get skilled work, he and his family were turned away because they were Indians. So he moved his family to Fresno in order to feed his family. And he wanted to protect family members from racism by not teaching us Yohanan. Instead, we were taught Spanish because Mexicans were able to get work in the field. Picking grapes or doing other backbreaking field work. At just four years old, I began working in the field. Terry Mendez. Laying out large pieces of paper so that my uncles could toss the red bin grapes onto the brown paper. Grapes that would eventually become California raisins. As Yaquis, we were accustomed to hard work and hard times. Our people had come from the motherland of Sonora Mexico where they had been punished by the Mexican government. I relocated to Tucson in 2005 with my four children and their father. With only a high school diploma, I was only able to find work at a Circle K. After that, my tribe paid for me to go to school to be a certified dental assistant. I was very proud to be able to work on the Pascoyaki Reservation for six years. I realized that I had to go back to school to set an example for my children. I didn't want them to experience the backbreaking work that I knew all too well. My two sisters and I all have excruciating back pain from lifting heavy loads at a very young age. I have my spine practically fused to my left hip now due to this hard work. In 2014, I registered at PCC. I was told that I'd be able to complete my American Indian Studies program. I was thrilled that my core studies would be in Yaqui history. I was so excited that I'd be able to learn my language. And I wouldn't have to hide behind post doors. As my grandparents said that, naively I carried around the 2014 catalog with me everywhere. That excitement dwindled as the years went by and my core classes were discontinued. I was never able to take Yoema as a class at PCC, as had been promised. I wrote letter after letter to college administrators asking for my core class. I was told by different administrative people that no such degree existed. After nearly four years, I still needed a class that would qualify me for my American Indian Studies degree. Well, what I do? Tired of my pestering, PCC administrators finally agreed to let me take an independent studies class. I had to create my own class in Yaqui history, which my daughter Mariah ended up taking after. She has now moved on um, and got a degree from NAU, which I'm very proud of, but she took the class that I created. That was not at all what I had signed up for. Finally, I received my associate's degree in American Indian Studies, and I also received a liberal arts degree. It has been a frustrating struggle, a journey that took me four years to complete, which would have been a two-year degree. Now it's very disheartening that my son is encountering the same types of issues. Lazarus and I both lost time and money because of PCC's failures. Failures to provide the required courses 
We can never recover that lost time. This is precisely why I joined this People for PCC group, to advocate for myself and for my son. But what about all the other young folks who don't have an advocate in their corner? Even within our small group, People for PCC, we have four instances of members, of children of members, being delayed in getting a degree by lack of classes. This leads us to believe this problem is widespread among PCC students. PCC must fully meet its obligation to consistently offer all the courses required for a certificate or degree. Lazarus and I do not want other students to confront the roadblocks that we faced. Thus far, we have written the um, HLC letter we both have. Mine was um, dismissed immediately because it was I didn't write the letter within a two-year period. And thus far, we're still waiting for a reply for Lazarus. Um, but I'm hoping that it's going to be um, beneficial. But I think we've done everything that we could to try to advocate, and yet we're still being asked to wait yet another semester. And I think that it is unfortunate. I am so grateful for PCC. My four children, including two others, are still at PCC. Um, I have two pieces about to be done, so the three of us will be done there. But it hasn't been easy, and it's not a two-year program. So, thank you for listening, thank you for 